Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Rock Your Purpose February 2020 call. I'm Elizabeth Hefner, Hefner Emerald Ambassador, and I'm so excited to our, announce our newest Rock Your Purpose Emerald, Jackie Hastings. So exciting. Yes, yeah, so Jackie and I went to PT school together. We met in PT school. We ended up kind of reconnecting on Facebook when our kids were little, and her two girls are very similar ages as my first two. So we've got just kind of followed one another on Facebook. And then um, I actually reached out to her with Plexus, and then it's all just uphill from and downhill from there, right? I don't know which way to say it. So it was so exciting. So Jackie, what I would love for you to share is kind of your timeline of Plexus and how you got to Emerald and like why you even got involved with me in this crazy business. <laughs> so it actually didn't even start about me. Um, it actually started because my youngest, Kinley, um, she had this fun habit of eating non-food stuff and she has a lot of weird joint issues like I have. And we had taken her to see a specialist through U of M. And uh, one of the things I asked when we were talking about, you know, all of her weird stuff, um, I talked to them about how she eats non-food stuff. And like, oh, have you ever had her iron checked? And it was like this big old light bulb came on because I have a tendency to run anemic and had to take all the stupid iron pills. And I'm like, huh. Like, yo, you should get that checked. I'm like, I'm not going to go get that checked. I'll just give her some Flintstones, you know? And then I kept seeing um, your posts actually about different things. And I'm like, hmm, I checked the ingredients on those. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not giving my kids this crap. And so um, I asked you, I, I remember reaching out and saying, hey, have you got any kids vitamins? And that's kind of how it all started. And then um, because I'm really cheap, or thrifty or whatever you want to say. Um, you mentioned to me about becoming an ambassador and you know, I, I love a good deal. So I was like, yeah, whatever, you know? And so I got in on that to get Kinley's vitamins cheaper and then kind of accidentally, you know, just part of the deal. Um, Cause I, I like probiotics. I think they're always good for you. I started taking them and then all these weird things started to happen to me, but weird in a good way. Um, so that was in October of 2016. So I kind of want to give you guys some hope. Um, if your story is a little slower, um, I'm slow. Um, and in fact, um, you, Elizabeth, were like, well, why don't you start sharing? I'm like, I'm not doing that. You know, I live in the middle of the woods for a reason. I don't like people. And I come home from being nice to people all day long and I take off my clothes and I take off my bra and I put on my jammies and I don't want to talk to anybody. And the other thing is I don't have good internet. I'm not doing this, you know? I couldn't do this. So I had all of these reasons why I couldn't do this and I wasn't going to do this. And uh, you kind of gently encouraged me, um, maybe repetitively, and I might have gotten annoyed, maybe a little, um, but I did it. <laughs> and sorry, my cuckoo clock's going to go off. Um, it's off. Um, in December, I started sharing a little bit, and it wasn't, oh my gosh, that thing's super annoying. I'm so sorry. It wasn't until February of 2017 that I actually got my first ambassador, was my sister. Um, she actually has had some IBS type issues um, and got started with me and then kind of started going from there. Um, in April of 2017, I actually left my job at the hospital because they weren't flexible for my kids. So um, you might start to notice I've got a trend that my life is kind of run by my kids. It's true. Um, which is part of my story too. Um, I have endometriosis and a lot of girly issues, really bad periods. We had a heck of a time trying to get pregnant with Taylor. I mean, it was like a three and a half year journey and meds and surgery and all kinds of not very fun stuff before we could get pregnant with her because when your cycles are anywhere from 40 to 100 days, you never know when you're ovulating. So kind of makes it hard to get pregnant. And so 
one of the weird things that happened, I remember the first month I, I messaged Elizabeth. I'm like, I started my period and I didn't even notice it, which is huge because normally I'm like throwing up in the shower with cramps. It's ridiculous. So that kind of accidentally happened and that has gotten better. And it's consistently now that I don't care about getting pregnant because I'm 42, my cycles are regular, which is a blessing and a curse. I keep saying, um, but going from there, um, in May of 2017, um, I actually hit silver. My friend Jessie, who's like my adopted sister, joined me um, and some of her family. Just kept kind of going on from there. April of 2018, um, I lost my job and um, I had a little more time to put into this. And in May of 2018, I actually went gold. So it was a full year um, for me from getting from silver to gold. So if you're like, oh, I've been doing this a year, I've been doing this two years, and I've been doing this a year and a half, and why am I not hitting these ranks yet? Um, remember, I started in October of 2016, so try not to beat yourself up. You know, everybody's timeline is so different. You know, and one of my big things is loving on my people, um, taking care of my people, um, maybe a little too much sometimes. Um, I just, I want people to feel better. I want their kids to be better. My daughter, my youngest doesn't eat non-food stuff anymore. My oldest um, we started having her take products. Uh, she actually can drink milk now and poop. It's kind of nice. She's not rolling around on the floor because her belly hurts. Or my youngest isn't getting rosy red bottom from all the yeast infections. So it, it's pretty amazing. Um, September of 2018, I went senior gold. Um, so that was another four months. In October of 18, we actually got to go on um, first leaders retreat, that cruise, which was amazing. Um, and that really, really, really got my belief going. Um, it was so great to be encircled by all of these people and part of this big team. Um, and one of the other things I found that really started helping me grow was the team calls. I mean, Elizabeth's like, you got to get on team calls. And I'm like, I'm not doing it. I can't. My internet. So I actually started up just by calling in because um, I only had so many, I had 10 gigabytes of data a month. That's not a whole lot for a whole family. We blow through that like crazy. And um, the first call I got on, um, it was Cody Helmer and she was talking about how we always say, I don't have time for this, um, but we do have time. It's, I haven't made it a priority. And that's something that's been big for me is I have so many people who say, I can't do this. I don't have time. Well, you know what? I work, I was working full time. I've got two kids. We've got a farm. We've got a family. During this whole process, my mom passed away. My dad's been sick. We had to move Damon's dad up here. I ended up with appendicitis. I lost my job. I had to find a new one. Let me tell you, I don't have time for it either but I do, you know, it's what you decide your priorities are. Um, then in January of 19, I went Ruby, which is really exciting. I didn't even realize it, but it was pretty much a year to the date for going Emerald. So um, one of the big things that I found, um, you know, it, it's exciting to go to conventions, exciting to go to re leaders retreat. You know, I'm just a little person up here in the UP. Like I said, I, I don't go out and do a lot of people-y things. Um, the world is a little too people-y for me a lot of times. And, um, but even so, loving on my people, supporting my people, helping them see the vision too, helping them map out what they can do. It is doable, but sometimes we don't realize it. So if we map that out from and say, you know what, you can do this. You just got to get this person, this person, this person, and then you've got that. And it's like, oh, okay, I can do that. You know, break it down for me. Help them, help them get through some of these weird things because sometimes our bodies do weird things um, and people aren't always friendly and you're going to have people tell you no. And the first time you hear no, a lot of times people are crushed and they're like, I can't do this. This person was mean. This person said bad things on my post. What do I do now? Oh my gosh, I'm not cut out for this. So, um, you know what, the longer you do this, the more of that you're going to get. 
And it's really funny because a lot of times those people come back around and there's some, this is not just you, Lauren. Um, you get a lot of those people who come back around and are some of your biggest supporters. So um, they watch. And if they're taking the time to make um, negative comments on your post, <laughs> Guess what? That means they're reading them and they're talking about you and they're accidentally celebrating your success and sharing about you um, because they're reading it. Uh, one of the other things that was like crazy to me is um, last year at convention, I earned all of the convention prizes. It's insane. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without my team. I didn't have 5,000 level ones. Um, a lot of those credits were for helping my people get their joins, helping them join to silver, um, growing and building that way. And that extra money, I was able to give back to my husband who has been supportive for this, um, helping him uh, go on a trip and do all kinds of cool things on that vacation, even though we had to spend the night in Detroit's airport. Um, and then I didn't even realize it until um, that magazine, you know, the Plexus magazine came out that I was actually um, one of the top earners for Leaders Retreat. I'm like, what the heck? That's my picture in there. Um, and it was unreal um, going to Bloomingdale's. Um, Beverly, or actually my friend Ann went with me to um, Bloomingdale's and it was so funny because the lady, um, they hook you up with people to help pick out your clothes. It's, it's nuts. I mean, seriously, I have a clearance rack, but people are hoarding you and they're like, what can I pick out for you? And I said, I am so out of my element. I was seriously gutting a deer last week and she like kind of ran away. It was, it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. Um, so needless to say, um, we had somebody else help us pick up clothes that day. I think um, maybe she's vegetarian, I don't know. Um, but then um, keeping building and growing on my people, we have, um, I earn Hawaii. And what in the world does that mean? I'm still wrapping my head around that. Um, I've been able to cut my hours at work and um, which is huge because my father-in-law is really sick right now. And my little one, the one who eats stuff she shouldn't, but doesn't anymore, she's having a hard time with school. So being able to devote a little bit more time um, to being able to make appointments for them and do different things for them has been huge without putting us in a big hole. And going along with the whole deer thing, um, part of becoming Emerald, you get, um, you get this um, lifestyle bonus and it's for a Lexus, but seriously, um, I'm not going to drive a Lexus. I drive a Jeep. Um, it's not happening. It wouldn't go down my driveway. There are no Lexus dealerships in the UP. I'm not doing that. Um, my bonus is going towards my John Deere tractor. <laughs> so um, if, you're, if you're wondering how in the world can you fit into this, um, I don't fit in. kind of make my own waves. We're all kind of our own people. We can build. We can can grow. This is what you make of it. This is, is one plexus. We're all on the same products together. We're all with the same company together. Um, but it's all our individual journeys and we celebrate each other's successes. We laugh with each other. We cry for each other. We pray for each other. Um, and I'm super excited to see y'all in Nashville. So now that I've had your ear off, I'm going to head back to Elizabeth. Oh, yes, because I have stuff to say. So back in PT school, so I got to go back a little bit. We were studying, we were taking our final exams. And I think it was our like second year of the program, which is the worst year it used to be. I think it's been restructured. So it was the worst year. And I was taking my stats final. And I realized I'm failing this test. Like I'm like, oh my gosh. So I start crying. And then I'm like, stop crying because I couldn't see the, see it to, to write. Well, walk out of there. I could not stop crying. We had like three more, two more exams. We're all, we go to the other building. I'm like walking around trying to like prepare because we could, we had like a card and we had a minute, to, we had time and I'm preparing and I'm walking around just 
crying into my soup. Like I'm trying to eat, crying into my soup. And Jackie comes up to me and we, like, we were, we were friends, but we weren't like study partners and things like that. Like everyone kind of had their little group that we studied with and whatnot. And so Jackie comes up to me and she just puts her hands on my shoulders and she's like, Elizabeth, you're going to be fine. It's all going to be okay. Like she just talked to me, her hands up. And I have, I'm with other people and everyone through this whole day is like, you're fine, Elizabeth, stop. Like you're okay. It's okay. <sighs> could not, could not stop crying. Jackie puts her hands on me, talks to me for a few minutes. I went, okay, <laughs> like get moved on. And we both became PTs. <laughs> I didn't actually fail anything. And I just am so glad that we can carry that connection into this. And I don't even feel sad that it took me three years to go Emerald. And I don't even feel sad that it, like, you know, some people might be thinking, oh my gosh, I want to go Emerald in a year or whatever. And I just know that that's part of our journey. And so Jackie and I have just supported one another as moms, as PTs, as wives, as Plexus ambassadors. We're helping our team. She's helping, you know, me with some science stuff as, long, as well as other people on the team too. And, you know, she's great to be in there. And it's all just this whole network of growing together and using these gifts and moving forward and helping others. Like Plexus truly is a gift. And I remember too, so Jackie's like, well, tell me about these kids' vitamins. Well, iron is not listed on the kids' vitamin. Neither is iron listed in your X factor. It's just the New Zealand black current is a naturally occurring source of iron. But when I emailed, I'm emailing Plexus, like, does this really have iron in it? Because I have to know because she's asking about iron specifically, and I'm so afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing. And I know Jackie is, like, wicked smart. So I am, like, she is probably researching up the wazoo, and if I don't answer this correctly, then she's not going to want to do Plexus with me. And I'm, like, so nervous, and I'm, like, okay, let me find all this information, you know. And it was just, I, I was nervous, you guys. Like, I was nervous talking to my old friend. It's normal. It's normal. It's okay. It's okay to take a minute and ask for help and get the research and just say, this is what I have and send it and then pray, right? <laughs> That's what I had to do. So it's just been such an incredible journey. And with Jackie too, like, I'm like, hey, what are your goals this month? And she's like, I don't know. I just want to help some people. And I am like, you have to have goals. And she's like, I don't know. I just want to help people. And it's been, it's grown us both as leaders, right? Because I had to figure out how can I help her have actual goals for herself and, you know, putting this into terms that will help her continue to, to grow. And, um, the, one of Jackie's hugest strong suits is that she focuses on helping her people and in turn that helps her reach her goals too. And that is the beauty of Plexus. That is the beauty of this journey is that when we help someone overcome a pop addiction or we help somebody lose weight or we help someone with hormone regulation or migraines or whatever the case may be, when we're helping them, it's helping us have that next you know, step towards our big business goal. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I went to work today and I helped a bunch of patients get out of bed and move and talk to them about their PT journey and what they need to do to get better and go home. And guess what? I got paid to do that, right? Um, so it is okay to share health and wellness. And it's amazing that we work for such a generous company with this. So definitely amazing how Jackie has just really embraced this. And now when we hear Jackie talk, she has just grown so much in this leadership um, by kind of having to part of it and also just being around and surrounding herself with other good leaders. So it's just been an incredible journey. So don't give up on your goals, you guys. It can so happen. It will happen. And Fallon always says, like, if you don't quit, you can be diamond. And it's just so true. It's just so, so true. But anyway, I think that's what we have for now. So we have time to jump over to our pink power call.
You got anything else, Jackie? <laughs> I don't think so. I think the big thing, just consistency. You know, be consistent, be on calls, continue to grow with this. If you're not growing yourself, your team isn't going to grow. So that, that's the big thing. And let's hop over to Pink Power. Or All no. right. Good night, you guys. Good night. And thank you.